Hello, good day to all traders. In today's video, I will explain what an ATM automatic trade management strategy is and how it can drastically improve your trading experience. I am using synthetic voice for better understanding. Let's start with a scenario. We want to place a market order and at the same time set up a stop loss and a take profit order. The problem is that the market can be very fast, but fortunately, computers are also fast. The solution is simple. Pre-configure these orders so that the computer executes them automatically in milliseconds when we place our main order, thus protecting our capital and securing our profits even if the market moves quickly. Now, I will demonstrate how to do this using Ninja Trader 8. It can be done in two ways, but most people prefer to do it directly from the chart. First, we press this button, which opens a sidebar. Then, we select Custom in this box, and a new window will appear. Let's create our first ATM strategy. First, we enter the number of contracts, shares, or whatever we want to trade. Then, we select the duration. It could be end of day, until cancelled, or until a specific date. We continue with the order type, which could be a dollar amount, a percentage, an absolute price, tick difference, or, in the case of Forex, pips. Finally, we set our target in ticks, although it can also be done with other parameters. For the stop loss, we will choose 5 ticks, and for the take profit, 10 ticks. This configuration can be saved for future use. When we execute our order, you will see that two other orders are automatically created. A stop and a take profit. Allow me a moment to adjust the settings on another screen to simulate a more bullish market scenario. This will expedite the demonstration process, reducing the amount of time viewers need to spend watching the video. Now we will explore the concept of auto break even and how to configure it. In short, Break even is the point where there is no gain or loss. In the text box, we enter the number of ticks at which we want our stop order to be placed at break even. Okay, let's launch it. As demonstrated, the stop order autonomously repositions to the predetermined level upon reaching the targeted price, requiring no manual intervention. This automated feature significantly alleviates cognitive load, effectively safeguarding the trade once the price threshold is met. It's important to note, however, that slippage remains a potential risk factor that traders should account for. Let's move on to the trailing stop, in order, that follows the price. I am going to remove the break even for simplification, but you can combine them and achieve more potent results. Here, we will select the distance of the stop order, when it is activated, and how often it moves. As is evident, the system allows for the implementation of up to three conditions. However, for the purposes of simplification and demonstration, 
we will restrict our focus to the utilization of a single condition. The first parameter specifies the distance for our stop-loss order. The second parameter determines the conditions under which the mechanism will activate. The third parameter sets the frequency of the mechanism's actions. Let's examine this more closely. For demonstration purposes, we'll set the mechanism to trigger at 5 ticks, maintain a distance of 2 ticks, and operate at a frequency of 1. To gain a comprehensive understanding of how these settings behave in real-world conditions without incurring any risk, you are encouraged to engage in simulated trading. Please direct your attention to how the stop-loss order, indicated in red, will commence its movement. We can observe that, once the price increases a certain number of ticks, the stop order begins to follow the price. Remember, in our case, we selected 5 ticks to trigger. We selected 2 ticks of distance and a frequency of 1. And now our ATM is executed a 100%. For those interested in more advanced options, there are also parameters to use a limit order for the stop loss or a might even mark it if touched order for the take profit, among other things. This parameter allows for the utilization of a limit order for stop loss purposes. This additional parameter enables the selection of an MIT mark it if touched order specifically for achieving profit targets. Another option available allows for the inversion of the trade when the stop loss is triggered. Furthermore, there is a feature that enables trade inversion upon the execution of the profit target. You can also select an additional ATM, Automatic Trade Management Strategy, to run in parallel as a shadow, facilitating a comparative analysis with your current strategy to determine superior performance. Feel free to explore these advanced options. For those interested in delving deeper, a link will be provided in the description below, directing you to an article that elaborates further on these functionalities. As always, I advise novice traders to gain more experience before trying these advanced options. They are effective, but they can also be risky if they are not fully understood. In the link that I will leave in the video description, you will find a document that explains each option in detail. As demonstrated, the successful execution of the target automatically triggers the initiation of an inverted ATM strategy. While this feature is highly potent, it also carries inherent risks. Exercise extreme caution when utilizing this functionality. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I hope you have a great day.